Okay, we've just uh, pulled up and it's a bit windy and nasty, but so we're fishing deep now, around the 25 feet, and uh, nice little ledge here with a bit of a snag coming off it. There's about a dozen bar on it. So we're not fishing shallow at the moment, we're fishing deep because conditions don't suit them. And sure enough, that's where most of the fish are. Nice one, about a metre ten. We're using the uh, Swing Impact Fat, a great uh, plastic for uh, deep water. I'm using a weedless jig head with a bit of weight on it, rather than a traditional jig head. You can use either or, just uh, less snags, that's all. Here he comes. <laughs> and the dog loves it. It's alright. <laughs> okay. This guy's got a bit of barotrauma, like a lot of fish do in these lakes. I'm going to do the right thing and get the air out of it first. As you can see, the fish has a swollen belly. It's not a fat fish. People think this is just a fat fish. It's not the case. It's actually the air bladder. Because they've been caught in deeper water, it's uh, full of gas. Happens a lot offshore with reef fish, but in these deeper dams, um, it happens with the barramundi as well. Now the best thing to do to ensure this fish's survival is as soon as you don't even put it in your landing net or get photos and all that, the first thing you do once you get it alongside is you have to vent it. Now you can use a horse needle, a syringe, or I use a bone marrow remover with a sharp point on it. It's hollow up the middle. So firstly, hang on to the fish. About two inches, two, three inches on a big barra behind the pectoral fin, under a scale, give it a little push in and you'll feel it go through the air bladder and start coming out of the end of the uh, bone marrow remover. As you can see, see the bubbles coming out there? So we're about three, three and a half inches behind the pectoral fin. As soon as you pierce the air bladder, don't push it right through of course, all you need to do is just go through the side, and the reason why we do it through the side there is so the, um, the air bladder inside the fish's rib cage has got a chance, see that fish has just sunk there now, the air bladder has a chance to push against the rib cage and heal. Some people poke them up the anal to bust the air bladder, that's not a good thing to do because it's got nothing to seal against, there's no pressure. So you, so you want it to be able to push against the rib cage in order to heal. So it's the first thing you should do because while that fish is swollen for so long, what's going to happen is the, um, it's, it could damage other organs, cut off the blood supply to organs for a period of time while you've got it out of the water. So you should do all this before you bring the fish on board. Okay. Yeah, nice little fish. Around about 104, somewhere there. Not a bad little start. Now it's the same in fresh water. Just hold them upright, let them get their composure, and there she goes. That fish has got a great chance of survival, rather than floating up and dying over a couple of days and washing in against the banks. As you can see, there's a few barra over there, those little white dots. There's quite a lot of them around the dam because people don't treat them right.